Previously on this channel, we had taken a look at MetaGPT, which is a multi-agent framework that allows multiple AI agents to complete a task together by feeding off of each other. It's pictured as a program that acts as a software entity and it can complete any range of tasks that you give it with artificial intelligence. Now, as we know that autonomous AI agents are able to complete tasks, it may lack the ability to tackle complex tasks due to many reasons. However, MetaGPT is one of those frameworks that are able to tackle any ranges of tasks with higher levels of complexity. Now, just take a look at this example where a Flappy Bird game was created using MetaGPT within a couple of minutes. This is something that I've never seen and creating a game like this with autonomous AI agents is quite difficult. Now, if you were to try and attempt to create something like this with other types of frameworks, you want to be able to get the same quality as you would with MetaGPT. Now, obviously, it's not the best quality, but it's something that's better than anything that I've seen previously. Now, you might be wondering, why are we covering MetaGPT once again? Well, this is because of a new update that the team had recently just released. They introduced incremental development, which is a pretty big feature in my opinion. It's something that facilitates agents to build up larger projects on top of their previous efforts or based off of existing code bases. Now, this is not the only thing that they released as they launched a whole collection of important features, including multilingual support, multiple programming languages support, you have incremental development, CLI support, pip install, you have enhanced code review, documentation mechanism, and optimized messaging mechanism. Now, these are just the list of couple of things that they released. We're going to take a look at many other features that they have mentioned as well. This is something that they've been continuously working on over the months, and I, to be honest, forgot about it after I made a video on it. I never really used it, but after coming back to it, after looking at some of the things that they've been working on over the past few months, I definitely see that this is a project and a team that is trying to revolutionize the way we use autonomous AI agents. This is something that we should definitely keep an eye out and it's something that I'm going to keep on continuously taking a look at over the next couple of months as they keep on developing their project further. But that's basically something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we take a look at this new feature that they have developed of MetaGPT's incremental development. But before we move on to any of this, I have an important announcement to make. This new announcement is in regards to my new crypto channel, which is called World of Crypto. I'm going to be exploring the blockchain further by making tutorials, exploring the cryptoverse, and just giving you insights on speculative assets you should definitely take a look at, such as Axie, which is a video I highly recommend that you check out. I'm going to be posting a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from, so do not fade this. This is something that could be revolutionary for you. So please subscribe, like this video, share it around. And with that thought guys, let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take another look at MetaGPT, which is a multi-agent framework that works like a collaborative software entity. Now, it's able to assign different roles like GPTs to different types of agents so that they can cohesively have different types of tasks to handle amongst a team. Now, the roles include a project manager, an architect, you have different types of product engineers and various other types of components that a software development team would have. We can see in this example in the hugging face space right over here, you have assigned roles with these different types of agents in a software entity. Like for example, you have the actual manager which acts as the project manager that basically handles the tasks that need to be completed and he basically delegates it to his employees. So in this case, you have the product manager, which can get things done through a different type of method by communicating with different types of components or different types of agents, you can say, within the team. 
Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at as you go further into the video, but you basically see that this meta GPT framework is trying to replicate a software entity that can help you collaboratively complete any sort of task, whether that's a complex task or whether that's just a simple task. Now, one of the main reasons why I wanted to focus on MetaGPT once again is because of the notable features that they introduced in their December 15 update. This is where they released incremental development. Now, this feature is quite big in my opinion, and it basically allows agents to build on their previous work or existing code bases when they take on another project. Now, in simpler terms, it basically means that instead of starting from scratch every single time, the agents can add new features or improvements to an existing project. This is particularly significant for any sort of autonomous AI agent framework because it is able to bring in more efficiency, you're able to have more complexity in terms of the generation, you're able to have AI agents adapt to any sort of complex problem that might arise because they have the context previously. In a way, you can say that it has a self-improving memory system that recalls previous memories to help generate better context for a future generation. This is something why I wanted to focus on this is because many AI agent frameworks do not have this type of feature. This is a really amazing feature that I want to focus on as you go further down into the video because I definitely see this as a revolutionary way uh, people will be using AI frameworks or not AI frameworks but how they will be creating autonomous AI agent frameworks. Now what's crazy to me is that they were actually able to implement uh, meta gpt within minecraft as well as another game which is called Wolf. now the crazy part is is that all of this is functioning with uh, the connection of meta gpt it has multiple ai agents running within these games which is really cool to see so if you're interested in this i actually made a video on this previously on my channel which i'll leave a link to in the description below now let's move on to installing this onto our desktop it's fairly easy to do so it's actually easier than last time because they updated the installation method so that anyone can basically install it. Now, what you need to do first is have the prerequisites fulfilled. You need to make sure that you have Python, Conda, Git, pip install. You need to make sure that you have Visual Studio Code as well as an active OpenAI API key. Once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, you can move on to the installation process. What you need to do first is make sure that you have Python 3.9 installed. Once that is done, you need to install Conda, which is something that I mentioned before, but you need to create a meta GPT environment with Conda. Once you have that done, you need to activate that environment and then you need to clone the repository within that environment that you have activated. Once you have cloned it, go into the MetaGPT folder by typing in CD MetaGPT, install the requirements with pip3 install. Once that is done, you need to set your open AI API key and then you're able to run it through this command where you can just simply tell it to create various different things. So in this case, you can give the prompt create a 2048 game in Python. Now, this is an optional step that you can also do, and this is for if you want to save the artifact like diagrams such as a quadrant chart. If you want charts or anything that's generated from MetaGPT, you need to follow through with this step. But it's something that I showcased in my previous video. That installation method is similar to this, so if you're interested in that, definitely take a look at that video, which will demonstrate how you can install MetaGPT. You're also able to install it with Docker, which is possibly the easiest method to do so. So if you're interested in this, definitely refer to the installation method. Now, one thing I want to mention is that they have a new documentation for MetaGPT, which is way easier to understand and it's just way more user friendly. So I highly recommend that you check this out because there's a lot of content that will teach you how to use MetaGPT. It will talk about the philosophy of it the tutorials, how they basically constructed it, and some of the things that you can do with MetaGPT in general. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. So now they've also released MetaGPT on Hugging Face Spaces. So this is a way for you to actually access it on the cloud. This will help you generate various different types of content with MetaGPT. And this is something that you can take a look at with the link in the description below. Now I'm gonna ask it to basically write a clay snake game using Pygame. And I'm gonna generate it and I'm gonna actually play around with it once that's fully finished generating it. 
Now we can see in this example where it's able to define what the product manager needs to do. So it like outputs the requirements for the game. The project manager then basically goes forward with executing the tasks. The architect creates the game basically and the engineer is the one that configures any sort of errors that need to be fixed. And then you get the generation within a couple of minutes. This is something that you can take a look at off of Hugging Face Spaces and this game is fully functional. It's a Python snake game that is quite simple but if you wanted to develop like MetaGBT to develop another complex type of game you simply give that prompt to make it a little bit more intricate and you can have it regenerated with a different type of background for example or add sound. These are some of the methods that you can do to improve the generation of what you had created and this refers back to the new feature where they have incremented development and optimized messaging mechanism this is something that will optimize the ai agents to generate content based off the context of previous generations this is something that is really really cool and i highly recommend that you read through this a little bit more which i'll leave a link to in the description below but that's basically it for today's video on MetaGBT, guys. I hope you found this video to be very valuable in terms of the neat resources or the knowledge that was given through it. Definitely take a look at this as this is something that is quite groundbreaking in my opinion. Now, with that thought, guys, definitely take a look at the Patreon link if you want to access our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Definitely subscribe to World of Crypto if you guys haven't already, my new YouTube channel. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to World of AI if you guys haven't already. Make sure you check out my previous videos, like this video. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.